In this video, I'll be talking about Restream and how you can use it to stream to multiple platforms from Ecamm Live. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and uh, I've actually made this video before. <laughs> and uh, we were talking about Restream on my uh, latest live stream, which ended uh, just a few hours ago. Uh, but I had a follow-up question from, uh, from Michael asking, how to actually set this all up to stream to restream through Ecamm and what the whole sort of process is. So I was just about to go and grab an old video that I've made about it uh, and send it over. However, I realized that they've changed one uh, crucial thing in the interface. So I figured I should just uh, remake it and go and delist de -list <laughs> the other video. So uh, that's what we're doing today. So first of all, exactly what is Restream? Well, it is a third party service. Uh, and if you want to find out more, by the way, don't forget to use my link, <laughs> takeonetech.io slash Restream. Uh, and that'll take you over to the Restream website where you can uh, get a free trial. But in actual fact, you might find you can get by with the free version in any way, in any case, because there is a version that is uh, free for free for life it's got some limitations obviously but um uh, we'll talk about those in a moment so uh, it's basically though a service that allows you to stream to multiple platforms so i use it when i do my live streams uh, i do them all from ecamm obviously uh, but then they get streamed out from ecamm to restream uh, and then restream deals with distributing it to lots of other different places so in my case i'm streaming to uh, youtube to facebook to twitch and to uh, i'm laughing off come back to that and also to Twitter so uh, the reason why this whole thing came up on my live stream in fact was I was kind of debating whether I should be re uh, streaming to all of these places and uh, in particular Twitch because uh, I've not been giving Twitch a lot of love I started doing to streaming to there when I first started my YouTube channel however many uh, days ago it was about six months ago uh, and I figured that I'd stream my weekly live streams to there just to see about how to uh, how, how, how the audience would grow on there well the fact is the audience hasn't grown there because I haven't actually been active on Twitch other than every week a live stream just pops there, but I'm not there engaging with anybody on the, on the platform or anything like that. Definitely YouTube is more my home. So uh, in terms of the the core sort of video content. So it's no surprise really. And I've just, I think I'm just going to switch it off to be honest and not bother streaming there. Um, I do also stream to my Facebook page though. And that is something that I do want to grow in terms of uh, uh, the channel, having my uh, Take One Tech Facebook page. So if you're not already following me on there, then please by all means go ahead and do that. Um, and I will be putting some other content on uh, at some point that's sort of relevant to what I'm doing on the channel that maybe just not sort of video content as well so uh, that will be the home for that and then I'm also trying to work on being a little bit more active on Twitter as well so I am still streaming to there the ultimate question is though should I actually be streaming to there or just using it for uh, some some other function related to the channel this is a whole another debate which I'm having inside my head uh, weekly <laughs> so I won't bore you with it but in any case that is what the uh, restream does for me it allows me to stream to those platforms uh, why is this uh, useful well it means that you are actually streaming to multiple platforms but you essentially have only got the bandwidth of one as the user or as the uh, streamer I should say because you're just streaming to one location and it is then dealing with the issue of getting that out to other locations uh, the other thing that's uh, good about it if you are on board with streaming to multiple locations is that restream will sort of collate all of the uh, the comments and things like that uh, and then they will come to you as uh, one feed in ecamm uh, and you'll see where they've come from so they'll either have the little uh, youtube logo facebook logo or something like that so you will be able to see as the streamer which uh, particular um, platform they've come from uh, so in any case that is in a nutshell sort of what it is and how I use it but I should also point out that it is a streaming platform in its own right in that you can actually just stream directly through uh, Restream and we'll come on to that in a moment when we look at the uh, the interface. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's get into it shall we and uh, before I do let me just touch on momentarily the actual pricing levels and things like that so if you do follow my link takeonetech.io slash Restream <laughs> then that will take you to uh, uh, this page uh, or rather it will take you to a sign up page where you can sign up for a free trial but just to explain the uh, levels uh, the free plan is free forever and it allows you to um, stream to uh, two channels so basically if you've got say facebook and youtube a facebook page uh, sorry a facebook profile i should say um then you can do that there or if you want to go to twitter and uh, uh, youtube or something like that then you can do that so up to two channels um and then you've also got these other things these uh 
programs that you can stream with. So you can stream with third-party software, which is what I'm doing, obviously using Ecamm. So Ecamm is not listed here explicitly, but it does work obviously with a free version. Uh, but you will get a Restream watermark if you're using their Restream Studio. So uh, that's not something that we're going to be doing if we're going through Ecamm. Um, and then you've got things like chat overlay and so on. Uh, the paid version, which is $16 a month, um, that allows you to stream to multiple channels. But crucially, what it also unlocks is streaming to Facebook pages. So if you want to stream to a Facebook page and your YouTube channel, even though it's only two channels, um, if you want to go to a Facebook page, you do need the paid version. So that's why I'm actually on this plan, this paid one uh, here. Uh, and then there's also uh, the uh, professional where you can stream up to seven channels and you've got other different things like HD and studio. A lot of the differences are, are related to the studio actually, but that's something that using Ecamm, we're kind of just bypassing all of that in any case. Uh, so we'll, we'll come on to that in a moment. But basically it's either, yeah, it's either free or it's $70, $16 a month or $41 a month. But uh, yeah, you might be able to get by with the free version if two channels or maybe the uh, 16 if you need to go to a Facebook page or have up to five channels. So that is uh, the pricing. So let's have a little look at uh, once you actually do get into the interface, once you've created an account and you actually go, go to the website, it's going to bring you by default to your uh, destinations here. Uh, and this is where you can, this will be blank when you first start this row here. Uh, and what you can do here is then just add a channel. And here you'll be able to see when I click on add a channel, you can see that there are all these different options for locations you can stream to. Personally, until I got Restream, I had no idea there were so many streaming platforms. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what all of these are or what they are, you know, what their niche is or things like that. But in any case, uh, you've got the top ones obviously right up here. So we've got Facebook, Twitch, uh, YouTube and Twitter. Twitter, then also uh, LinkedIn Live down here as well. Um, and then, yeah, you just basically select which one you want to stream to uh, or which one you want to add in to your list of potential destinations to stream to. Uh, and then you're going to go through the login process and so on uh, to grant it uh, permission. But just look at all these other different platforms. I've got no idea <laughs> what a lot of these are. Um, but in any case, um, yeah, so this is the one where these are the ones that you do need the um, the paid version for. So this Facebook here is to a Facebook profile. Uh, and then here you've got groups and public pages. So if you want to go live to groups through Restream and public pages, then this is where you'd need to have the, uh, the paid version. Uh, and then you've got uh, custom RTMP. So you can stream to just even other locations that aren't here. Uh, and these are some other, uh, other, other paid ones. So that is uh, basically how you add them in. So if I were to just click on this, then it would ask me to connect to Facebook and so on. And then you would go through that process when you're connecting any external app to your Facebook, to your YouTube or things like that. I'm sure you're familiar with the process where it will prompt you to sort of log in and give it permission and so on. So that is how we've basically added these different destinations. So as you can see, I've got my uh, YouTube here with a little YouTube logo. I've got my Facebook I've got my Twitter and I've got my uh, Twitch down here. Uh, now they are all toggled on at the moment and that would mean that if I was to just go live straight away now from the uh, studio, which you can do, uh, then it would just immediately start uh, going live to all of these. There is a title, so I can change the title uh, on these streams. But to be honest with you, I'm not going to even confuse you with that at the moment because I'm guessing that, uh, well, I know in actual fact that the use case for this is to schedule a uh, live stream that you're then going to activate through Ecamm Live. So this title would basically be the default if you were just going to sort of stream live without any planning to uh, restream.io. This is the default title that it would put in. So I'm actually going to leave that one alone for the moment and not... Uh, not uh, go into that, but that's how you could update that. What we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be scheduling a live stream, and that's what we're talking about here. Now, if you look down the uh, left hand side, uh, you've got the dashboard, which is where we are at the moment. Uh, you've also got here the live stream studio. Now, this is the uh, built in sort of live streaming platform on uh, Restream itself. So if I just click on that for a moment uh, and we'll have a little look, uh, this is loading up the streaming studio and as it says stream professionally from your browser. I, I've never used this because I've always just done things through Ecamm uh, because well just because <laughs> Ecamm has got uh, and I don't want to allow that at the moment to my site let me just uh, do this. I don't want to activate any of this. So here you can see basically you've got some sort of functionality to go uh, live from within here. So you've got sort of different views, uh, one up, two up, all these sorts of things. And you can uh, 
uh, do similar sorts of things as you might be able to do in Ecamm, in theory, different ways to set branding, stuff like that. You've got different ways to view your chat and captions and, uh, and so on and so forth. This isn't a video about this because uh, it's not something I use. So we're not really concentrating on the studio uh, in this video. Uh, and But you could change all these settings and then go live directly from there, having given access to your camera and your microphone to stream through Restream. That's not what we're doing today though. <laughs> so let me come back out of that for a moment. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come one more down from the live studio. We're gonna come into events because this is where we are going to actually uh, set our schedule. Now what you can see here is you can see events and it says upcoming events uh, and then you've got past events down here and I can hide those or show them and this is basically all of my previous uh, live streams that I've done through Restream. This is the one that I've just finished uh, and so what we're going to do is from here we're going to um, uh, actually create a new event. Now this is the bit that has changed since my last video because when I create an event previously um, there was actually only two options here. One was create an event and another one was uh, uh, add a video file. So you can schedule a video to stream from Restream. So you could upload the video and have it just stream out at a particular time. So that is uh, something you can do if you, uh, I don't know, I'm not quite sure why you would do that, where you want it to actually stream out uh, for you know what I'm doing in any case, uh, but it's there as an option, never used it myself. So there are two options of ways that you can uh, basically create a scheduled event and you either choose in between this uh, Restream Studio or this one, which is to go live from Zoom, OBS, uh, vMix, etc. Well, etc. includes uh, Ecamm Live. So when we're scheduling an event, this is the one that we want. Uh, the one with that little logo, God knows what that logo is. <laughs> um, in any case, we'll click on this encoder like that uh, and then we can create our event. So I'm going to actually just go through the process of creating an event here uh, and I've got a little title. So let's say I'm going to plan my live stream for next uh, week uh, and I'm going to take this little bit of text here. Let's say I'm going to give an update on my uh, Zoom masterclass course creation process. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little text expander snippet where I type live desc dot uh, <laughs> comma comma. And that expands out, as you'll see, to put in all of my uh, other sort of show notes, not, not show notes, my description. So we've put that in. So now we're going to choose a date. So I want to do this uh, basically next Saturday morning for me. Uh, and then the time I'm going to change to be uh, 5 a.m., which is the time I stream at. Where has it gone? There we go, 5 a.m. Uh, then I'm going to upload a thumbnail. So I'll click on here to upload a thumbnail. And it's going to ask me to pick one. So I'm going to pick this one. There we go. That's my thumbnail. Now it brings it up in this square box, actually. Uh, so you presumably can have different shape thumbnails for different platforms and things like that. But if you just add in your regular thumbnail, it sort of auto crops it. So you can see how I've got this little cropping uh, box here. Uh, you can presumably upload any picture and then just crop it. But because I just make my thumbnails all the time the same, whether it's for a live stream or recorded video, uh, then when I up the, upload them like this, it automatically shows these uh, this sort of cropping thing. And if I click on crop, then it will just be exactly the right size. So I'm just going to double check. I've got the title right. I've got the description. Uh, okay. The date is the 27th of November and the time is 5 a.m. And I've got my thumbnail in. So then I'm going to click on next. Now that I've clicked on next, uh, you can see that all of those four platforms that I have selected at the uh, on the front page have come up. Uh, and so if I wanted to toggle any of these off, uh, now would be the time. So I could toggle off my Twitch. Should I do it? Should I do it? <laughs> Should I end my, uh, <laughs> my Twitch career? Uh, so I am going to leave that one off this time uh, and I'll probably just take it out altogether. But in any case, I've left it off there. So now I'm going to be streaming next uh, week uh, to Take One Tech on YouTube, on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, and just again, I can check that there that that's all all right. And then if it is, you can add more channels if there's some that you've forgotten. Uh, but then I'm going to just click on Create Event. So now I'm creating an event. Now there is this extra thing that's going to pop up, pop up in a moment. Uh, and it's just sort of thinking about it. It's sending it out, doing all of its little bit of work here. Uh, it's always, it always going to take longer than usual when it's in the middle of being uh, recorded, isn't it? 
<laughs> I'm not quite sure why that's taking so long. <laughs> there we go. Uh, right, now, here is a little uh, extra feature that is part of the standard and the professional plan, and that is Restream Pairs. Now, if you've got somebody who's coming onto your channel uh, and they've got their own Restream account, uh, and they've got a paid account as well, uh, then you can copy this little link here. Now, so let's say you've got somebody coming on your show as a, an interview guest or something like that, uh, and the content that you're doing is gonna be uh, relevant to both uh, channels, uh, then you can basically come here and you can take this little link and you can send it to anybody that you, uh, you want to. Uh, and then basically, if they click on that link, then this will prompt them to uh, give permission to stream out to their platforms as well. And that will mean that when you go live through uh, your Restream account, it will also send it out to these other accounts as well. Uh, and I actually did that when I was on, uh, it was on James Hicks show actually. Uh, so I went on his show and then it was also streamed directly to my audience as well. All of the comments do indeed go back to the, uh, the primary host as well. So uh, in that case, James was able to see all of the comments that were coming in from, uh, from my channels. They were all coming in, feeding into him centrally. So he could still sort of address those comments and put them up on the screen and so on. So uh, that's just a great little, uh, great little feature that has been added in the last uh, two or three months ago, something like that. Um, so uh, yeah, great way to reach a, a, a wider audience as well. If you're doing something like as a group as well, uh, then just sort of sending out to all of your uh, all of your collective followers. <laughs> so that is that, and that is basically it. Now it's now set up as a uh, as a scheduled event. So let's just go and have a look, shall we, in uh, in YouTube Studio, and I'll just show you that this has actually been uh, scheduled as a live event. So if I come down here, one second. And then I'll go into my YouTube studio. So let me share this one. So here we are in, uh, in YouTube studio. I'm gonna go into my, uh, my content and then I'll go into my live. And what you'll see in here is, uh, one second, it's not actually showing up. Hang on a minute, let me just refresh this. There we go, <laughs> just needed refreshing. I was getting worried then that it wasn't gonna show up. But anyway, uh, so there it is. You can see that this upcoming uh, live stream now is uh, is showing up in there as uh, exactly as we've just planned it. So this is my update on my Zoom course creation that we've just created in restream.io. Now I could actually go in there and edit it in YouTube as well. If I wanted to change anything specific for YouTube or I wanted to go into my Facebook one and change something specific to those platforms as well, uh, then you can technically go in and do that. But when you go uh, start streaming, um, it will go to all of those different platforms. So here's the thing, in the same way, in fact, let me just bring up, uh, this is sort of, oh, hang on a minute, where's that gone? That doesn't look right, does it? One second. Something's gone horribly wrong here, hang on a minute. <laughs> what I need to do, I've been a little bit silly here, hang on a minute. Let me just do something quite quickly. I need to change this to this one. This will all make sense in a moment. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, now when I do this, what you'll see is that I have actually got the, uh, the Ecamm interface back up on the screen. <laughs> I was a bit clever earlier and I set this all up, but then I, uh, I changed the way that my scenes look. So now you can see basically what I see when I'm looking at my uh, Ecamm screen when I'm not actually recording or live or anything like that. Uh, and I've just been a little bit sneaky. I've just added these all on as a little overlay. Rather than show you in demo mode, I can't show you in demo mode what things look like in like when you're going live to restream if I'm in recording mode. If that makes any sense. But in any case, so this is what the interface sort of will look like to you. So what you'll see is down in the bottom corner here where we've got the destination, in the same way that we can choose Facebook, YouTube, and all these other different destinations, or you can have it set to record only, uh, then we basically just select uh, restream.io as the destination. Uh, if you have got a uh, scheduled event, then you can click that uh, where it says go live now and the unscheduled, you can click that and you can actually select on a specific uh, scheduled event, obviously like the one that we've just scheduled. Uh, and if you haven't got one scheduled and you just go live immediately, then what it will do is it will put in that default sort of uh, title that we uh, looked at earlier on. I said we won't really be using, then it would just go live using that particular title and everything like that. And that the description that went with that as well. 
Now, when you are scheduling with YouTube and things like that through Ecamm, then there's usually these buttons down in the bottom corner down this side that allows you to actually schedule the event from within Ecamm. Uh, you can't actually do that with, um, with Restream. What will happen if you click on that button just there is it will basically just take you through to the, the, the Restream uh, uh, page rather than actually allow you to schedule it in. Uh, in Ecamm. So that's uh, just one thing to note. Uh, and then obviously once you have uh, got your schedule and you're ready to go live, then just click the go live button as uh, as usual. Of course, you do have to actually link this to your Restream account. So if you, if you, if you don't have the go live button here and you see something that says login, uh, then basically you would just click that button first uh, and then that would take you through to Restream to prompt you to connect Ecamm to Restream and then you would be uh, would be good to go. So I think that covers the uh, process now for how to actually uh, uh, go live with Restream from Ecamm Live. Uh, and if you found that useful, then as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, turn on those notifications as well, by the way. Click the little bell so that you do get notified. Uh, and if it's really useful, then head over to buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech uh, and you can show your support from the, for the channel there, either as a one-off or on an ongoing basis as well. So that's all for uh, this one. And next week, you will be able to see me streaming live to everywhere except Twitch because I think I'm going to knock it on the head. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's all for this video. But don't go anywhere because there are some more great Ecamm Live videos coming right up over on the right-hand side. So until that video, <laughs> have a wonderful few minutes. <laughs>